Well, we've all seen the explosion of crime in the last few weeks. On the other side of this, though, are the officers dealing with the stress brought on by that violence. After four officers died by suicide last year, Aryami Virhin uncovered a survey many filled out about what they were most stressed out about and what the police department is doing to help with the stress before it is too late. Stop the car! Stop the car! It's an inherently dangerous profession. Where life or death decisions are made in a split second. And in a split second, officers can also lose it all. So when two officers died by suicide in 2021, many were concerned. But then the number of active officers dying by suicide doubled in 2022. Jordan Hammond was one of those officers. Jordan Hammond was, he was a good officer. He was loved by his peers. And I know without a doubt in my mind, he was loved by his wife, Jordan, and his little girl, Jalen. So Fox San Antonio decided to investigate what was being done by the San Antonio Police Department. So the department takes it really seriously. Late in 2022, a health and wellness survey was sent out to all officers. 1,350 responded. What the SAPD found out is what could save the lives of those who serve and protect. According to 924 officers, the majority of those who answered the survey, their number one stressor is fear of discipline, losing their job for a work decision. That's followed by stress over supervision and management. Then lack of public and media support, staffing, and the job itself. We want people to come forward. We want people to, if they're having problems, like come and talk to somebody. We asked SAPD Lieutenant Michelle Ramos how this survey has helped the department. She says the key is to change the mindset. Whether it's a fellow officer, whether it's peer support, whether it's a family assistance officer, whether it's psychological services, what we don't want is people to feel that they had nowhere to turn because there's so many resources for the officers. According to the survey, the majority of officers know about their peer support program, while only 19% know about the critical incident stress management program. Ramos says one area they're expanding is having more wellness officers and adding a sergeant to the program. And only about half of those who took the survey actually know about them and what they do. They're making every single uh, in-service this year. Uh, they're attending roll calls. So if officers want to speak with them privately after a roll call, at least they have that information. And newsworthy events that come in every day are getting the attention of those officers. Ramos says they use them now to identify traumatic events where officers may need to talk to someone about what they saw. Let's reach out to those officers, make sure they're okay, so that they're proactively going to them and not waiting for them to reach out. Because like I said, sometimes officers have a hard time reaching out and asking for help. In our exclusive look at the survey, we also found out the services officers are least likely to use and why. At the top of the list, psychological services because of a lack of confidence in the program. And confidentiality is the main reason officers say they don't use the peer support. Let's talk stigma. Let's talk why there is a fear of coming forward. Let's have open discussions about that. Mike Maroda is a former SAPD officer who worked with his peers to deal with the stresses of their job. Maroda now works with a national nonprofit dealing with suicide. He is not surprised that the survey revealed 40% of these officers said they did not get help because they wanted to handle it on their own, while 30% fear retribution and negative consequences by the department. Maroda believes SAPD also needs to bring in outside help to ask tough questions and to get honest answers. We got to think, reimagine um, how we're uh, dealing with officer, first responder mental health, in particular our officers, um, and start like bringing in people from the outside.
to ask the hard questions of us. Now, officers and sergeants were offered training, eight hours of training recently. It is put on by the National Suicide Awareness for Law Enforcement Officers. During that training, it is explained to them the numbers behind the suicides and also how to respond appropriately. Jamie Virgen, Fox News at 9.